Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Tech GT Super Saiyan Vegeta and just how good he is with 100% in the hidden potential system after his Extremes Awakening. Now this Vegeta is very interesting. He has defense when he is the, well additional defense when he's the first attacker in the turn, additional attack when he's the second or third attacker in the turn, and then he gains critical hit chance uh, when he has a Shadow Dragon Saga ally. Now Vegeta also greatly raises his defense for up to 6 turns and he also raises his attack. He has a high chance of guarding attacks and overall he's pretty interesting. I'd say out of all the World Tournament units, he's one of the ones that's in a pretty good space uh, as a unit. He gains attack and defense on his super and just in general, he's quite solid. Um, his start turn defense doesn't necessarily become super huge, uh, but he, you know, honestly speaking, is pretty interesting. He has a good link set with Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, prepared for battle, uh, and also, of course, Royal Lineage, GT, uh, and he's on quite a few categories as well. Overall, he's actually really, really fun, and he's quite a solid unit. The only big issue is, even though he has a great looking passive, the World Tournament units tend to have very low base stats. So what tends to happen is they kind of need to be rainbow to realistically be super duper impressive. But with that being said, they're still very interesting and very good units. And I think Vegeta is one of them. You can see here that his start turn defense is okay, sitting at around 100k with no support. Now it does raise quite substantially upon his super and he also will be able to hold stacks of his defense for quite a while. He greatly raises for up to a period of 6 turns, which means the minimum amount of stacks he can hold at any time is 4 stacks, uh, and he can actually hold even more if you get additionals. Now because he procs a critical hit, or has a good chance or medium chance at procking a critical hit when there is a Shadow Dragon Saga ally in the turn, if you're able to proc that part of his passive, I feel like additionals are definitely the best build to run on him. He gets additional supers, and those supers can hold additional defensive stacks, which will allow him to raise and skyrocket that start of turn defense. That combined with his raising of super on, or defense on super, means that he'll have a pretty good level of you know, defense after that super attack. So I do feel like additionals is best for him, People might want to give him some evasion as well to really try and facilitate uh, that additional level of defense and give him an extra layer with the ability to obviously kind of evade the enemy's attacks and essentially give himself uh, a chance to proc those supers and remove the threat of being supered before he supers. But overall I would say Vegeta's in a pretty good position. I think he's quite solid, I think he brings a really good level of consistency and yes there is the small requirement of needing him to be a, a first attacker to proc all that additional defense but it's not so bad um, I don't think it's a huge hindrance to him of course uh, when he is you know run in the second or third slot he does improve his attack but I feel like functionally if you want to really see him kind of shine and do some good work for you you probably want to run him in that first slot um, or you could potentially run him in the second slot. And you can see here how he can really build up that defense quite nicely. And overall he can look pretty good uh, as a unit. I think for me he's pretty impressive all things considered. And actually I really like uh, how his whole kit kind of comes together. And really produces some good results for him. With that being said, um, you know, for me a really really good unit. And overall a lot of fun to use. Link set wise, you probably want to focus on Prepared for Battle, GT, Royal Lineage, but you also have Super Saiyan and Golden Warrior, which are pretty good links. He also has Prodigies and GT, and of course you have Sharing the Limit because he's a World Tournament unit that was Dokened Awaken or Dokened Awaken through the World Tournament. So for me overall, I think Vegeta's got some really solid links. Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior and Prepared for Battle give him a pretty good foundation especially if you remove Golden Warrior, he's then basically linking up pretty well with anyone. You can go the GT route, obviously if you're running him on a Shadow Dragons or GT team, which you probably should. 
Or alternatively, you can go Royal Lineage and Prodigies if you're looking for a more Vegeta flavored affair. Or you can just go for Prodigies if you want to link him up with some units like Broly. I think overall, he's a really fun unit that honestly just has a great foundational level where he just performs really well in a lot of content. Link wise, he doesn't gain too much. So although getting his links is important, link leveling them is not so important. You don't gain a huge amount out of it. However, GT is definitely his priority link as it's the best one to gain from in terms of attack and defense and just overall performance. But yeah, that is uh, basically going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. And let me know what you think about Vegeta. Have you used him? Have you not used him? But yeah, that's basically going to be it for me. So, as always, uh, I thank you guys for watching. And take care, stay safe, and let me know if you need any help in the comments down below. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care, stay safe, and thank you guys for watching. As always, bye.